Hey there kids, welcome back. David Eon here with a gigantic box from MFA Collectibles, which of course they do statues and we've shown some of their work on the weekly roundup on occasion. And of course that's LPH behind the camera. How are you behind the camera and this is yours? Because you do better at unboxing than I do. <laughs> well, this is obviously for her. And this came all the way from China in a gigantic box and it took some hits. I mean, it's uh, it's been punched through from all around the box. Up back here also, there's some pretty big dents mm -hmm. through here that I can actually get my hand into. And hopefully it's all right. I can see some thick foam piling in here. So hopefully everything will be okay. And this of course is MFA's Skeletor mm -hmm. slash Keldor. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and get started opening this. What was it about this that caught your attention? How come you wanted this? Well, I like the Keldor head and in statues you usually don't get Keldor. You only get Skeletor. And um, just to be clear for everyone, Keldor is Skeletor. That's, um, that's who Skeletor was before he was um, burned with acid. Keldor, which is Randor's half brother. Yeah. He Man's uncle. And um, that that's the only figure I've ever seen outside of the Maddie Collector Club, but statue wise, that had a Keldor. It does come with a Skeletor head, mm -hmm. but the Keldor was really nice and the um, the picture that he showed on the website was with the Keldor head and um, I really wanted that. I'm just going to go ahead and peel this because I don't want to dump it. Yeah. It looks like it's been handled more well, than I would like already. Yeah. It looks like it's packed pretty good though. Yeah. If you can see all of that foam cushioning around it. Yeah. It looks pretty good. And if you know from the storyline, speaking of Keldor mm -hmm. and what happened to him and why, you find out that Skeletor's not technically the bad guy. No. Yeah. In the comics, um, is is a he's a lot different than what you see on a cartoon. On a cartoon, he's a uh, I don't want to say blubbering idiot, but yeah, he's, he's not all that comic relief. Yeah, on, uh, basically on the filmation version. Yeah, but um, his storyline, he was in line for the throne, and Randor screwed him over. Yeah. And um, he got acid thrown in his face, and uh, his skin peeled off. And Hordak came and and did some work on and him. He, and he was restored. Yeah. Well, back here is a print. Some artwork. Oh, look at that! That is the concept art actually for this statue. Yeah, and I saw that picture, but with the Keldor head. Let's see what it says. See if I can zoom in. Read it because I thank I can't you see. for supporting and choosing MFA Muhammad 2019 number nine of 60. Yay, with his signature and you got my name all over yep. it. Yep, and I'm gonna frame it. And my and David's gonna mat it because he's a matting expert. Uh huh. Actually, <laughs> since you mentioned it, yeah, he matted this. I, I did this. Show off his work. Well, I mean, <laughs> he is uh, proud of that. Certified, he did a good job. <laughs> certified autographs. It's uh, JSA, so mm -hmm. it's legit. And this is back when he used to actually sign his name. Now he just goes UT and makes an arrow. Yeah. He doesn't. You got do lazy. The, you don't do the full autograph anymore. No. But yeah, I, I can do a little matting and framing. Yeah, we'll pick out a color that's in there to make it really pop. And uh, hang it up somewhere. Yeah, that is uh, some vibrant color on there. Yeah. I know people are like, come on, open up this I thing. I know. Already, huh? we're, yeah, we're, get we're, on with it. We're working on it. We're working on it. We're just... David's going to talk for a bit. So oh, just... oh, it's my fault. Yeah. Well, that's all right. Some people like that. Yeah. Uh, let me get the picture out of the way so uh, you have room on the table. Yeah, yeah. I'll pass that on. That is really vibrant. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we're just going to pull this apart in layers. Mm -hmm. so maybe I should put it on the bring floor. This to the floor carefully and put stuff up on the short table. To the table. So that way I can lay everything out and you can see it. Okay. Yeah. 
Goodness. Goodness. If I can get okay, here we go. So we have what some cards. Oh, is a, a, a it is small a plastic picture. card and it has a number nine on it. Okay. And I guess that's for certification purposes. Yeah. Oh, it lights up? Yes, it does. And, and it comes with a plug instead of dealing with batteries. How about that, folks? Oh, I think I still got my adapter because that's the uh, European plug. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, haven't had, <laughs> I hadn't thought of that. I yeah. had an adapter. It seemed like I seen it recently when I was in Europe. So, uh, But that's okay. Those adapters, you can find them. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Here is Man, part some of bones. His outfit collar mm -hmm. right looks like I could wear it no no I can't wear that I'm just out in the street I wouldn't interfere with this it's part of the staff this is uh this got is heavy weight. this feels like you could hit somebody with it yeah it got some weight I like the coloring on it mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. pretty cool got the little snake Coloring the purple and the gray it really kind of stands out, and that goes on the top of the yeah. This is the havoc staff. Piece to the havoc staff. Oh, and it got things coming out. Yeah, this is this battery. This is individually battery operated, oh. but does not have the battery in it. See, and oh, he yeah. showed on the website uh, what battery you're supposed to put in here, but we do not have one at the moment. That's cool. So, but we'll have we'll get that later on. We'll get that from Walmart. Probably. Something right there. We your fingers. I at. know. I, I can't get to it yet though. Oh. The way this is, it's like all of this is. If you can see how it it's layered down and cut in. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I, I don't want to twist or bend anything pulling it out. Even though these feel really solid. These are heavy. All of these pieces feel kind of heavy. That is a part of his baldric there. Yeah. Right. And that's tiny, whatever it is. And I can't get to it from behind. I don't want to hurt it. Mm -hmm. It's just a small piece, piece of something. Mm-hmm. We'll figure it out. Yeah. This looks like the base. Good. The big base. Kind of massive. Oh, see where it plugs in? Let me zoom. Oh, let me zoom in. Something goes right there. That's look like the adapter. No, it I wouldn't in. plug in on top of this though. I mean, there must be something else that snaps into here to light up this part. But obviously, yeah, see, because there's another one there. Mm. These all plug in. I think that's where it would plug in. Yeah. And on the bottom Something here, goes. 9 of 60. Yep. There's only ever 60 of these commissioned, evidently. Yep. I think you might still have a couple available because I think a couple of uh, people Back failed up. on their pre-order at yeah. the last minute. So That's if you go to stuff. MFA, you might can still find that. Mm -hmm. This is all hand-painted, by the way. It's a nice, vibrant color. Yep. It's a piece of snake. Yep. Let's figure this out as we go. A hood. <laughs> oh, his hood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I see it on it. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. That's his cape. 
Maybe not. Again, wanting to make sure that I'm careful. Yes. You got something else coming from them eventually too, don't you? You'd have another order. Look at this thing. What is that? That's the cape? Yeah, that is yeah, the cape. Oh. It's textured. Look at that texture. Yeah, it's heavy. Wow. It's a solid piece. It's obviously not mixed media. Mm -mm. It's smelling it. <laughs> <laughs> it smells new. You. you know that new smell, folks, don't you? Yeah. But yeah, you have another piece coming from them. Uh, I don't know what it is. You don't? <laughs> Mumra, right? You order, didn't you order? Oh this? yeah, because you get him and the, um, the one, the one, the transformed and the uh, mummified one. Yeah, with uh, oh, mom. Oh, you got that long nail. And mama. mama, that's right. Golly, his nails are yeah. long. Let me, let me zoom in oh, again. Oh, you want to see? Yeah. <laughs> mama. Yeah, and, with uh, Mama in his little chamber. Yeah. Mama, my favorite character. Oh, that's the Keldor head. Uh huh. And there is a piece of damage. Oh no! There's what is? Oh, I see, see that little chip. And I've got it right mm -hmm. there. I'm glue that thing again. Well, yeah, I guess we're gonna have to. But yeah, there was uh, a little damage, unfortunately. Got his eyes all squinted. <laughs> so we'll have to work on that. Okay. Oh well. Hopefully that's it for damage. Yeah. Is the other hand <clears throat> holding the jewel. Do you remember the jewel from that one episode? Kinda, sorta. You know, I don't remember stuff like all that. We're supposed to banish him to another dimension. Yeah. And there's a thing on there, so it's probably a hinged box. Oh. Not quite sure where that goes, but we'll figure it out. Yep. Okay. And another one. The opposite side mm -hmm. might be shoulder components. Probably. Looks like I'm about to pull up a pull up a torso yeah, here. Thank you. Oh, come on. Watch out for the arm. It's broken. Oh no. The arm is broken. It's broken. Oh. Oh, oh it came all the way. Oh. Yeah. Oh no. It sucks. Wow. Yeah. Well, it's broken. You have everything out? No. There's a few more pieces. That's the Skeletor head. Regular skull. Mm -hmm. It should be another Keldor head, I think, with him and his teeth grimacing. I'm looking. Okay. It's uh, open. Oh. Oh. It's, yeah. They're fairly similar. Yeah, one is a little more frowned, I think, and bony. Seems like it's a, it should be another Keldor head. There's the lid to the jewel box. Okay. Well, I probably just remembered it wrong. And I think that's it. Okay. So at this point in the in the game here, mm -hmm. we should probably stop and contact MFA because there are some broken pieces. Okay. Well, let's look at the pieces anyway. Mm -hmm. Because this is this is just a, a crying shame right here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Okay, round two with this. Now, 
After what you just saw, we contacted MFA. We contacted MFA on Facebook, and they actually responded within about two minutes. And we sent photographs of what had happened with the shipping, and they made arrangements for replacements to be sent from the factory, which is this box, which the post office lost <laughs> because it was delivered to us, or it was delivered to the post office. The post office received it on the 14th. Today's the 23rd. So during that time period, they had no idea where it was. A box this big, and it was in the post office the whole time. It was in the post office station the whole time. And this has suffered too, because this right here, that's how you cover up a hole that you punch through a box. So hopefully everything is all right this time as we try to get this open. There's a lot of tape on this. Handwritten and it probably says, Good luck, American. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe somebody could translate that. There's footprints on it, that's not a good sign. And we'll go ahead and carve this all the way out of this box. The tape doesn't want to let go. Yeah, you can see it here now. You turn that. This is where I showed Ooh. you that it was covered. You see that hole? And then this was stuck. Turn in. it all the way around. Yeah. Here's the hole that they covered up from the outside. See? And it was stuffed with this. This is not elsewhere on the package. This is just right here. So I wondered if this wasn't stuffed into this hole to uh to account for that and there is a big indentation here mm. on this side so I don't know we'll see hopefully everything's all right because this is a bit much already and MFA is already uh, they were very cordial about this too they jumped through a lot of hoops to get this <clears throat> placed I hope that's just the way it's uh, formed, but still, this looks like the whole thing. Oh, I thought it was going to just send a torso. Well, because I see another arm there. Well, we'll, we'll find out here in a second what's in this. Because here's another head. There's another Keldor head. Well, that's cool because the one we had we had a chip, chip in the hair. Let me take a good look here and I'll get the other Keldor head. You see where the, just the hair is mm -hmm. chipped there. The hair chipped off. Oh. <laughs> Can you see him? I didn't what are you lift looking the, at? I didn't lift the, the thing up. Go ahead. But yeah, this is the new head and it's in no damage to it. Okay. So set that aside. This looks like a new staff rod. That is a new rod. A new right hand. There was nothing wrong with the original right hand. So now there's two of those. And this is the part that's going to count. Look like the arms attached. Yeah, because that's what the big, the biggest issue was that that arm had gotten shattered. Yay, we got an attached arm. 
Yep. And it looks like everything is in one piece. And I'll grab the other one here real quick. Although, from your perspective, you just saw this. But that's how the original one came. Let's see what else is in here. It looks like they, because that's a lot of box here. I'm wondering if they just reset the whole thing. Look at this. Oh, it's they a, did. It looks like a total replacement. Well, that I, I was, thought we were just going to get a torso. Yeah, we were under the impression that only what was damaged was going to be replaced. But like I said, you know, MFA collectibles is um, they're on the up and up, folks. If yeah. you're if you haven't dealt with them before. Yeah, they're a newer a, company, and I admit yeah. at first I was kind of nervous because they're a new company. Yeah. Um, and I I I didn't I couldn't find anybody it, that dealt with them, nervous. but. They um they're an up and coming company. They're trying to really break into the market, and they're doing a great job. You know, customer service so far is good. Yeah. Um. So if you were wondering, you can see from our experience that they do contact you back. They will work with you. Um. They're they they are an up and up up and up company. No, it's no base, it's just the pieces well, okay. to the, but that's yeah, good. Yeah, all the other pieces. Okay, just, that's good. Which, this is broken. Oh, <laughs> thank God ours wasn't yeah, broken. Yeah, this one is broken, so, but ours is in one piece. Yeah. And that's, that's snapped yeah. off right there, it looks like. It glued and up I was right hoping, together. I was hoping that this one would be good actually if we got something like this mm -hmm. you know seeing that there's extra pieces here i was like oh if this is in here i hope it's in one piece because i i stole the battery out of my captain scarlet to put into this staff and it kind of does what it wants you know it's you see it uh it's like <laughs> flickering there mm -hmm. so it it sort of works it's no big deal, but you know, yeah. I mean, we're not going to be able to light it up anyways because we got the European plug, yeah, and we don't have an adapter, at least not yet. Yeah, that's cheap on eBay. Yeah, on so uh, we'll, Amazon. We'll get somewhere. an adapter and light it up at another time. There's another breastplate, or I forget what. That's a collar. Yeah. You know, Baldrick, I guess. Another hood, okay. second hood, and the cape. the cape. So really, they just sent everything but the initial base itself. Well, that's good. All right. So now we can go ahead and finish assembling Keldor <clears throat> here with the new torso. Okay. And this is the piece that goes on top of the snake's head. Take a look at how this looks. See, that should fit right in there. And then the torso will sit on top. Oh no, you know what? I need to put the tail on first. So the tail should go right here. Like that. Oh, am I in the way? No, I'm it's to, okay. Trying to make sure that you can see this. And you notice also, those are actual plugs mm -hmm. because the entire thing lights up all the way through to his eyes. So top to bottom, this lights up. We just can't do it yet because we need to get an adapter.
getting there. Mm -hmm. Oh, how is that supposed to work? Or is it supposed to go this way? Yeah, but how does it hold in place? That's what I'm looking for. Is it on that There's picture? There's a peg here. And I guess that's supposed to catch on something to secure it. That's what I'm trying to find. Is it between his fingers or... So I don't want to mess it up. Is it on the picture? Does it show on the picture? Yeah, but hold on a second. There's a there's a peg that sticks out right here. I mean, he is holding it near the top. It's just it looks like it could slide through if you're not careful with how it's balanced. with this one. I do have two though. So if that one's an awkward fit, try the other one. Yeah, I, I had seen another video where someone was having some trouble and they used a hair dryer to loosen this up, mm. this bone piece. Mm -hmm. Kelder will cooperate. There he goes. Okay. Do you want to see how he looks with the Skeletor head? Yeah. And one of them looks like Eddie. Who's Eddie? From Iron Maiden. Mm. <laughs> this one. Mm. Which should light up. This is the one that would have the glowing eyes. This one doesn't want to cooperate. Okay. You want to get a close-up on that? Or? Mm -hmm. 
I think I kind of like the, the Skeletor head better myself. Mm hmm. I guess the Keldor is what you wanted to go with. Okay, what's yeah. the measurements on it? You rarely see Keldor. Looks like mm -hmm. it wants to be from the base to the head. About 29 and a half. Mm -hmm. And from base to the top of the lightning bolt, about 38 and a half. Mm, that's big. Yeah. And then from the edge of the cape to the end of the point there. About 20 inches wide. Mm. 20 inches wide. Okay. From the edge of the cape to the point again, 20 inches coming forward. Okay. So 20 by 20 by 30 Oh, was it 38 and a half? Yeah. 38 and a half high? Yeah. It's a lot of base. 40. Get that good clearance. Uh huh. Yeah, so this came out pretty good. What do you I think? I like it. I like it a lot. I like um, that he did something different than a traditional uh, Skeletor. You know, he did the Keldor head again. You rarely ever see, you never see Keldor. Um, I like that it lights up. One of my biggest complaints with uh, a lot of the statues, they have like these dynamic things like it's supposed to be an explosion or something. Yeah, and or if you look right back through here, you can mm -hmm. see the um, Prime One Studios Serpentor sitting here in the background. Yeah. And he's got this massive explosion going on down here. Mm -hmm. And it would be great if there was a lamp in there to make that glow. Yeah. But no one thought of that. Yeah. So a lot of uh, statues you'll see, um, it looks like it should glow and it doesn't, but he took the time and put some lights in there. And um, once we finally get the adapter, we'll, we'll get it hooked up and see what it looks like. Might take another picture of it for you. Yeah, but, um, we'll try to include it in the end of this video if we can get an adapter here in the next, hopefully in the next few days. Mm -hmm. No, I like it. Mm -hmm. um, if I was going to be critical of it, mm -hmm. I would say that from from my perspective, mm -hmm. I would like to see the. Let me take the camera off here and mm -hmm. walk around it a little bit so you can get some close ups on it. But I would like to see the, col the coloring in the Snake Mountain be darker. I think it's it's almost kind of like a Crayola coloring to me. The purple. Mm -hmm. I would like to see this much darker. Yeah. But the size and scale of it is impressive. Yeah, and then there's all even like bones underneath the bottom yeah. of the base here. It's like S nice. Snake Mountain is sitting on top of a bunch of bones. <laughs> so there's detail all the way around. There's a lot of uh, physical detail that went into that went into this. Here's the the two Skeletor skulls. And like I said, we're going to try to get an adapter here shortly and then we'll light this up. Even like the hood, you can see all the stitching in yeah, the hood all the detail, way around. Detail work and went into that. And then his uh, sabatons. Yeah, I like the bones on it. And like a door knocker bell buckle there. <laughs> Another thing that I would say also, I would like to have seen this in mixed media. Yeah. As opposed to just being solid, all solid. I like that the uh, Havoc staff has a kind of a bone feel and texture. Yeah. You can see the like scrapings on the bone. I like that. So it is a massive piece. So if you get it, it is very big. Yeah. Some place to put it. It's about the size you would expect from like a Prime One Studios piece. Mm -hmm. 
and these the things from MFA are made in very small numbers yeah As, as we have pointed out, this was number nine of 60 pieces, according to the card. See the gemstone in the box there? If you remember from the episode where he was using a gem to banish or attempt to banish He-Man into another dimension. Well, what do you think, guys? MFA up and coming in statue production here. And you can find them on Facebook, MFA Collectibles. And we show their pieces occasionally on our weekly roundup. Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up. We hope you enjoyed this, got something out of it. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new. Find us on Facebook on our fan page. We have a link to that down below. Open by chance on Instagram. Check out some of our other videos. For other reviews and statue and toy discussions, action figure discussions, and so on. And final round Yay. for Keldor, a.k.a. Skeletor. And we went and we got these adapters. They're actually fairly cheap, but we had to wait a while to get them to convert from European to American-style plugs, North American, because you can't pop down to your local Radio Shack anymore. No. So you got to get this stuff through the mail. It was real cheap, but it took a while. And so now... Keldor can light up and so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna flick him on you take the camera real quick Okay. And forgive me if I look a little wet. We've been working out. Yeah, we just finished our <laughs> workout. So Okay, so let's is, start. Is his eyes lit? Yeah, okay, I guess we can start with his eyes Turn the um, light off real quick So let's see if we could get a oh, yeah well, I know so, you can't see, but I just yeah, want you so to see the parts the that light up. The Christmas tree in the dark. Yeah. Okay, now we'll <laughs> turn the lights back on. See the jewel is lit up there. Yeah. Okay, so we have the eyes that are lit up. And the chest, the plate. chest plate. The jewel in the box. The eyes on the snake. Yeah. Both the snakes. Or the reptile, whatever the reptile that is, I'm not sure. Well, where am I? Okay, here we yeah. <laughs> And then the very bottom of the base lights up. So that's a, a really nice feature, and I wish that and some... And of course, of... this lit up too, but you remember, it's it's kind of quirky. It kind of yeah. does what it wants. There, there we go. you go. It's, it's lit up. I'll shut the light again real quick. Yeah, so just you so you can see that the parts effect. that light up. Because with this light, it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And we can go ahead and swap out his head, too, so you can see how the Skeletor head looks. This is the battery I stole out of uh, Captain Scarlet, because his light-up features don't work anyway. Okay. So we'll pop Keldor's head back off. Mm hmm And we'll put the... Skeletor the, head. This one. Should plug right in. Yep, and it lights up. Doing that right? I think I gotta do it. It's like I think I gotta get his head in there first, so that the hood will set right. There you go. Yeah. There okay. you go. And that's him with the hood on. I kind of like the Skeletor head better, but I know you prefer Keldor. Yeah, I prefer the Keldor because one, I already have a Skeletor, and then two, you never see Keldor. Yeah. So it's just good see to see a statue of him and and that's really why i i got the the statue and we spoke with uh mfa
collectibles uh, mm -hmm. just a few minutes ago, actually, because they wanted to make sure that we got everything. And of course, mm -hmm. like we had specified before, the package was lost for a while in yeah. the post office. It was lost for like a week in the, the, in the, like in the post week, office. 10 days. Yeah. And um, he told us, please do go ahead and be as candid and honest as possible with the reviews. Mm -hmm. So he's not looking for padded reviews. And I appreciate that because yeah. some of these companies, they don't want you to talk about them unless you're going to <laughs> yeah, kiss your butts. Yeah. Now, the only critique, if I was to say I had one, is the coloring on the base. Yeah. I would have. And I had said that too. Yeah. I'd I like would have liked it. it to be a little darker. Mm -hmm. um, I like the purple, but just like a little darker purple. Um, other than that. And there's one more thing I want to show because I had, I had neglected to mention this before. Okay. Oh, I think I know what he's going to talk yeah, about. No, the plugs. The back, I'll get, get the other bust here. Yeah. And this is the one that was broken. And they have these big holes in the back. Mm -hmm. And you wanted to put the cape on because you didn't want these gaping holes. Yeah. But They're I had plugs. found, and I totally missed this, there's actually a set of plugs to fit into these. Yeah, and that's a nice detail. See? See? And it's, it's a magnet, yeah. so it pops in. So in case you don't want to... Uh, use the cape mm -hmm. you can pop those in there although you see, you can still see the lines but yeah. you get that option yeah and and i like and i like that option but now that the cape is on you know, yeah you're feeling it yeah i'm <laughs> feeling it it is it's working for me but overall i really like the statue i like the size of it i like oh, the yeah. stance um it's a good dynamic stance i think um like i said the only thing that I would change is the color. I would have darkened the up the uh, the purple a little more. Um, but other than that, I like it. I like the bones on the... Uh, what you call those? No, they're not boots. You call those spats, right? The, uh, the little leg things. The sabatons. Sabatons. Yeah. I like that. And then they have the Hordak symbol. Here. Or something like it. Yeah. It's not quite Hordak. Yeah. So, overall, I, I, I'm really impressed with the statue. It's a good, large piece if you like and large you see statues. see the comparison, too, because right behind him is the Prime One Studios Serpentor. Yeah. And they're just, Serpentor is just about maybe almost an inch taller on that from head to head. Mm hmm. And that's only because his base yeah, is his so base high. Yeah, his base is huge. On Serpentor. Let me see. Let me get around But there. just to give you an idea of, like, comparing size. Yeah. Looking at them back to back here. See? And Serpentor has... He's all base. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, so what you're seeing there is base. And Keldor has a lot of base, too, but it's just, you know. It's different. Yeah. So, really great great piece really enjoying it yeah we're looking forward to seeing more out of MFA yeah okay you got anything else yeah well if you if you haven't been able to check them out if you're into these kind of higher-end statues of course MFA collectibles the best way to find them is on Facebook mm -hmm. and it's uh, Muhammad I believe is usually the one that answers, mm -hmm. and, but he answers quick. He doesn't yeah, he waste does. any time. Really and nice guy. He all, talks a lot. Yeah, and they're short runs. Mm -hmm. These are very limited runs. Yeah, because I think and he said, what, 50 of these were made? 60, 60? 60 pieces, 40 of the mail order. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I mean, that's pretty low. And he's yeah. got a lot of uh, Masters of the Universe. He's got that filmation um, She-Ra coming up. Yeah. He's got a Hulk that's coming out. Wow, a Hulk. Doing, yeah, a nice one. They mm -hmm. got, and we show it on our weekly roundup. Yeah. Whenever he's got something, we'll throw one and in there. And he got uh, Thundercats coming up. Yeah. And he's doing Groon, I think, isn't he? I'm not sure. I thought he, I'm he's not doing sure. a couple that nobody does. Yeah. I know that. Yeah. And the, the transforming Mumra, which I know you were looking forward to. Yeah, because he comes with Mamut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you and nobody ever makes Mama. Mama's and he the best was character a, uh, in the show. Well, I wouldn't say all that, but <laughs> um, he was a he he was a main yeah he was a good part of the show you know a main part main character so. But other than that, I think that will do it. 
Yeah, so please let us know what you think of the Keldor statue. Please do find us on Instagram, Open by Chance on Instagram. Check out our Patreon project and find us on Facebook. All of that is down below, but please do let us know what you think and give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. We hope you did. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new and check out some of our other content. We do a lot more than just statue reviews. Okay, so until next time. We will see you soon.